Hello there, it's Angela Raspers, your Next Chapter Business and Life Mentor. And today I'm popping in to talk to you about a piece of reflection for business planning. Now, at this time of the year, I really recommend that we spend some time investing in planning because we want to have some breathing space before we revisit the plan in, say, early to mid-January, because you will always find that there are some changes that you want to make. If we leave all of our planning until January, you don't have that same window of opportunity to consider, to process, to think through the ideas and allow new ones to bubble up to the surface. So a piece that's so important in the evaluation process, in the reflection process, is both the emotional and the tangible results. Now we can be so obsessed about the tangible results. You know, how many clients did we have? How many of this did we sell? Did we reach our numbers here? Did we reach our revenue goals? Those are all incredibly important and I'll talk about those in another video very soon. But the other side, the emotional results are just as vital for your consideration. Now by emotional results, I really mean looking carefully at the services that you chose to deliver to the world and see how you felt about them. Did you feel excited? Were you enthused to actually produce these and deliver them? to the marketplace or do they feel a little bit ho-hum and a little bit like draining because you see when you're enthusiastic about your services that enthusiasm is currency that enthusiasm is resonant that enthusiasm is what attracts people towards you and they feel your certainty and your expertise when you're feeling sort of ho-hum and a bit drained by the services you're choosing to give to the world that absolutely rubs off on your audience as well. And it is not surprising to find the lack of enthusiasm means it's not a magnetic service and it won't attract people in the same way. Now, sometimes we can have a bit of guilt around this. It could be that a product is a really big part of your revenue overall but you're losing your enthusiasm for it. Well, that's when it needs a next chapter. The next chapter model of change, the very first step is discontent, which is then followed by desire. So if there's something that just isn't ringing your bells about some of your core services, when you're going through into 2020, I want you to pause and ask, how can I tweak? How can I pivot? How can I change this just enough that I start feeling good about delivering it again? Now that's an emotional reward, which will really serve you well as you go through into 2020. So as a part of your evaluation process, don't forget to look at that. Now, this is just one tiny piece of the next chapter review and renew workshop that I'm running in mid-November. Now, this is something I've done for the last five years. It runs over five days. It's virtual. It's completely free and it will change your whole approach to your business in 2020. I'd love to welcome you in and I'll pop the details below this video. Take care.